Space weather this week has definitely calmed down compared to last week, but we still have storming in store. As we take a look at our Earth-facing disk, we haven't had as many big solar flares this week as we had last week, but we do still have a lot of solar storms being launched. In fact, we've had a lot of them near the east and the west limbs and at high latitudes. None of these have been Earth-directed. They may graze Earth a little bit, but most of them have been missing. However, back on the 20th, if you take a look with near that big coronal hole just to the west of it, you can see this puff. Well, that, believe it or not, is a stealthy solar storm. It is Earth-directed. However, it's been extremely hard to see this in coronagraphs. In fact, when we take a look at the coronagraphs, you can see all these kind of partial halos everywhere. But look inside this one halo right about 5 o'clock. You can see that outline there. That is the Earth-directed solar storm that is a halo. Sadly, with all of this mess and jumble, none of the agencies got it, so we don't have a solar storm model. However, looking at the speed of this structure, it looks like this thing's going to hit maybe late on the 23rd or into the 24th, and it's going to not be a big Big impact. However, with all of these other solar storms that are being launched and that fast solar wind from this big coronal hole that's going to be rotating in through the Earth strike zone, we could start seeing storming around the 24th into the 25th and possibly into the 26th with some of these other grazing solar storms that we've been seeing before things calm down. So aurora photographers, if you're at high latitudes, you definitely could get a show. Aurora photographers at mid-latitudes, well, it's kind of a touch and go to see whether or not we could, but things might dip into mid-latitudes for a little while. Meanwhile, most eyes have been on regions 32, 56, and 57. These are the regions that back on the sun's far side launched that huge, uh, almost Carrington-class solar storm and had that big radiation storm and it got everybody so scared. But don't worry about it. And now that these regions have rotated Earth side, we take a look. Meh, they're hardly even big flare players anymore. So we can finally exhale. Don't worry about it. There is no kill shot. Please don't say that anymore because everything is absolutely fine and we don't have to worry about things. We are going to be watching for other regions that are going to rotate into Earth view, but things right now are still pretty good. For more details on this week's space weather, including how these solar storms could affect you, come check out my channel or see me at spaceweatherwoman.com.